And it's always really frustrating when a country or an organisation has very, very complex visa and permit rules. And the temptation is always just to sort of rush in. In my experience, that's always a mistake. And even though it might mean delaying days or even weeks, it's always better to have the piece of paper, the visa or the permit, if that's what's required. You might get away with it, with not having it, but frankly, you'll spend the whole shoot worrying if about whether you're going to get asked for it or not, and that can, that can affect you. There are, of course, some times where the nature of the story demands that you do have to go slightly undercover. You might have to um, try and not reveal exactly what you're doing. You might have to get away with not having a visa because you're not going to get one. Um, and that sometimes is called for. Personally, I feel that having a cover story in which you're pretending to be someone else doing something else is very high risk in itself. Because the minute you go down that road, it's a one-way street and you can't come back. You're effectively lying to the people around you. You're deceiving the people you're trying to film. And that is a very, very slippery slope and it's very hard to come back from. And I think it's always important, wherever possible, to be as open and as transparent and, and as authentic as people with people as possible because people sniff out authenticity and they won't trust you and that in itself can be a problem.